I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and welcome to the Craft Corner. Apparel decorators struggle with one topic in the apparel decoration industry and that is layering heat transfer vinyl. So that's one topic I want to cover in the craft corner because as crafters, we're working with a lot of special effect heat transfer vinyl, such as glitters and foils and many others. For, this, for today's video, we're going to be working on a project that is a companion look for a little girl and her doll using fashion film and glitter flake. I wanted to, uh, before we get into that project, I want to go over the importance of layering these two heat transfer vinyls because they are paired so well together. A lot of apparel decorators know that you can't layer glitter flake over top of glitter flake or any other heat transfer vinyl over top of glitter. That is why glitter flake and fashion film pair so nicely together. Fashion film has a nice matte and smooth finish that the adhesive from the glitter can apply directly over top of. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in today's project. So let's start by cutting out our heat transfer vinyl and showing you the application. Alright, so I'm going to start weeding away the excess material from my designs. I'm going to start by peeling out the cavities of each section and then weeding away the excess material left over on the carrier. I have my fashion film weeded out so I can go ahead and weed away the material from the glitter flake carrier. All right, so the next step, all I have to do is trim apart each piece of my material since they're going to be applied to separate garments and now I'm ready for the heat application. To start we're going to begin with the doll shirt which has velcro in the back and since velcro is pretty thick we don't want to uh, lay our transfer right over top of that so what we want to do is undo the Velcro and lay it flat. And although that's creating a thick seam right here, we, that's why we're using our heat printing pillow. These thick seams are gonna sink right down in there and keep this surface nice and flat for us. All right, for the first application, we're gonna be applying our fashion film. And this is uh, where you're going to wanna take away um, a key consideration for layering heat transfer vinyl. Before I lay my fashion film down, I'm gonna do a quick preheat that's gonna allow me to test my pressure and release all the moisture and wrinkles in my fabric. I'm going to be applying fashion film with glitter flake because these two heat transfer vinyls can be direct layered. So whenever you're thinking about heat transfer vinyl for mixed media, always choose two compatible heat transfer vinyls. Fashion film can be the first application, not the second application when applying these two materials together. You always want glitter flake to go over top of fashion film. That's going to allow a nice adhesion and a durable application. Okay, so to begin my layering process, I'm going to tack my fashion film for just two seconds. This is going to allow the adhesive from the fashion film to sink down into those fibers long enough to be able to peel my carrier away without my uh, transfer wanting to lift up. The reason I'm applying it for just two seconds is because I am direct layering another piece of heat transfer vinyl over top and I don't want to chance the registration of this artwork shrinking underneath high heat. Fashion film has um, 
there's a chance that fashion film can shrink if it's under high heat for too long of a time. So allowing that to just apply for two seconds and then go in with my next um, transfer will keep production quick and also allow me to direct layer easily. Now for my glitter flake, I'm going to apply that for its application as well. I'm just gonna apply this for an additional two seconds as well. The reason I'm doing that is because this carrier sheet is very heavy and thick. And since my pressure is anywhere from a medium to a heavy pressure, that's gonna create a little mark in my fashion film. And you can kind of see it there. There's a little line that was going through my matte fashion film there. To avoid that happening, just tacking the glitter flake for a couple seconds will allow that line to get back, to be taken out of there when I cover it with the cover sheet and apply it for its full application. Another thing you wanna be careful with when it comes to glitter flake is the carrier leaves little glitter uh, flakes and specks left on there from the heat transfer vinyl. So if I were to apply that for its full application, my little glitter specks would be left over in random areas on the fashion film. So again, just by tacking that, we can avoid both of those um, from happening. So what I'm gonna do is take my cover sheet and I'm gonna apply for the full application. Now being that fashion film applies at 320 degrees for 15 seconds, that's the application I wanna go with so I know both of them are getting their full application and creating a very durable transfer. All right, and now we have completed the doll t-shirt so we can go ahead and do the same process with the uh, toddler t-shirt. All right, for this application, I'm not gonna need my heat printing pillow since I'm just going to be working with the front of this shirt and I don't have any seams in the way keeping me from an even pressure. And just like I did with the last application, I'm gonna do a quick preheat. That's gonna allow me to test my pressure. Since I removed my heat printing pillow from out of there, I need to increase slightly to get a firmer pressure. And that also released the moisture and wrinkles from the fabric for me. All right, and I'm gonna apply my fashion film just by tacking that for a couple seconds. And then I can just go ahead and peel that carrier back hot. And now I'm going to go in with the next piece of my design here. So we have the glitter flake. Then I'm also going to be adding a personalized piece of this as well, just by direct layering right over top. And again, we want to tack this for just a couple seconds so that we're not left with a carrier mark or leftover glitter from the carrier in the fashion film. All right, and again, I can just go ahead and peel this carrier back while it's still hot. My adhesive is still sticking. And now I'm gonna apply for the full application. All right, and my application is gonna be 320 degrees for 15 seconds. All right, and now we have our completed matching kid and doll t-shirts done in fashion film and glitter flake. When direct layering heat transfer vinyl, it's important to remember not to layer too many colors on top of each other because it will create a bulkier and heavier fill on the garment. Direct layering is still important because it speeds up your artwork production and also gives you the ability to achieve multicolor looks and mixed media effects such as this matte finish with the glitter finish. I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and thanks for joining me in the Craft Corner.